That time someone took an interest in what's going on here. Rivers changing, trucks are acting up. People are going tropo, driven mad by the tropical heat. All well, places out of whack. Get out of the way, truck! Truck! Uh, first of all, congratulations on the book and congratulations on uh, tropo as well. The series, fantastic. I've seen I'm halfway through so far, and I was just I was just speaking to uh, your two stars of the show, and I was thanking them for uh, kindly offsetting my moral compass a little bit because it's <laughs> kind of like. Of the whole, of the whole, of the whole town, the only two people that I trust are probably the, the least, the people I should least trust. So, but I think that's more to blame. That's you're more to blame for that than they are now. Yeah, yeah. I wanted, I wanted it to be like that. I wanted the participation. I want people to watch this, you know, on their couch with their partner and say, "She's lying. He's lying. I trust him. I want this." And um, across all of my novels, no one is ever completely good or completely bad. And yeah. that's why I want, you know, I want you to say, okay, when these two come together, I pick her. But when these two come together, I pick him. And yeah. um, it's fun. It's more fun that way. My uh, professional opinion is you don't exactly look like a professional. You have a motive. Two men end up in the belly of a croc. That feel right to you? I understand you've engaged private investigators. They found the car, detective. Do you have any idea? Who you're working with. It's so good that I yeah, picked up the, yeah, the first book already, which is fantastic. Okay. I've just started it as well. Oh, um, excellent. Thank you. But I know that the the, you, the the idea kind of for the series goes back quite a few years now, so, and it's gone through quite a few rewrites. I was quite interested in, in kind of knowing how involved you were in those rewrites. Did, did you kind of get a lot of say in that, or did you prefer to kind of leave it in kind of other people's hands, or, or were there certain things that you kind of put your foot down that you wanted to kind of keep there? Yeah, no, I didn't put my foot down about anything um, simply because having your own TV show, you know, it it was such, it was never a part of the dream and I'm so grateful for it to have happened Mm -hmm. that I didn't want to go, ah, and put any demands up. And I also think that, uh, you know, so many people added wonderful things to this uh, and I really enjoyed uh, all the choices that were made by different people that I think I wouldn't have stopped any of that. I think you've got to let people do stuff with your art. Otherwise, what you end up with is a carbon copy of the book. Um, yeah. It's not a new, it's not a, a new thing that appreciates the book. Um, mm. And so, yeah, I didn't put my foot down about anything. And then once I had met the actors, I'd met uh, Thomas and Nicole and I knew that they got it and I met the writers and I knew that they got it, the essential themes. Um, so I wasn't worried. No, I didn't uh-huh. stick my oar in. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was something I was going to ask you. Once, once you realised who was going to actually play uh, the two lead characters, did that kind of surprise you at first? Did you not kind of picture them, those kind of characters until you actually met them and realised that they would fit perfectly in the kind of the puzzle? No, Thomas Jane didn't surprise me at all. Uh, no. They said, oh, we've picked Thomas Jane. And I went, oh, my God, that's amazing. You know, I've been watching right. him since I was about 16. And I knew that he was a serious and committed actor and um, very diverse in his range. You know, he's he's played he's played terribly sensitive and 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 complex characters. And he's he's also played those big, rough, tough kind of um, masculine characters. So I knew that that he was going to find the perfect thing. Uh, Nicole was new to me. I hadn't seen her in anything. Uh, but once I spoke to her and I watched her, I, her audition tape and uh, I thought she's perfect. She's perfect. She'd just um, uh, been through cancer. And, oh, right. you know, yeah, know she, no, she, she, she came out with it afterwards to say that she had just gone into remission and her head was shaved and everything. And going in to work on this TV show was her getting back on the horse, really, oh. after that devastating trauma. Yeah, so um, it was great. It was it, it was perfect. Yeah, I had no complaints about who they cast. I said, amazing, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. No, I mean, I mean, they're so good. And I know that the show's already aired over in Australia and it's gone down really well, I, uh, I've read. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. I mean... Touch wood. I, I mean, I was talking to uh, to the other two, and they, they were saying that there are ideas. Now they're hoping to kind of bring the uh, the second book into a, a second series. Touch wood. Mm-hmm. Everything goes to plan. Is that something that you you'd like to see? And can you imagine being more faithful to the book, or kind of more or less working along the same lines with the same team that's involved in the first season? 
The one thing I would hope for that is that you get redemption for Ted uh, because we've spent a season seeing how this accusation has destroyed his life, every aspect of his life, you know, from where he lives to his marriage with his wife to his relationship with his daughter, you know. So I think that the viewer will come away the same way that readers did from the book saying, I want to know what happened. Who did it? Who really did that crime? Who who's yeah. responsible for destroying his life in this way? Um, and so, in book two, I I answer all of those questions and I give you that that satisfaction. And I think that's what uh, would really make a season two pop. Well, we definitely need a season two then. If that's what happens in the second one, I need to see that already. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, listen, we're out of time. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, and I uh, wish you the best of luck when it airs uh, on the twentieth of May. All right, thank you. Thank and you I'll so much. I'll speak to you about the second season if, we, uh, if we're lucky enough. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. all cool. right, all the best. Sometimes it's not so obvious why a person does what they do, but they take it to the grave. All we have is each other.